All right, it is easy to celebrate our town when we have so many neighborhoods rich in culture, food, and community. We at KPRC2 have chosen to embed ourselves in 10 of those communities this year and share their stories. We started the Our Town series in the Eight Leaf Westwood area. And if you've been watching today, you know all over our platforms, we've been focusing on Sunnyside and that great community. KPRC2's Lisa Hernandez and Andy Sirota leading the charge on what makes this part of Houston so special. And y'all been out there all day long. How's it going, you guys? The weather's been great. Oh, Danny, great. Keith, the weather's been absolutely <laughs> perfect. Yes. The Sunnyside Pride shining bright right. this evening. Mm -hmm. We've had a chance to really showcase the community spirit out yes. here in a way that's really galvanized the folks who live here. And now we're going to talk about one business that's inspiring all of us, a family-run dental practice here in Sunnyside, up and running for 86 years, Andy, using the work of three generations, the one family, three generations span. Three generations, three generations. 86 years. Yes. KPRC2 chief photojournalist Byron Nichols shows us how it's become a beacon of resilience and pride. Tell me about the history and the office being here and everything. Well, when you look down there, 610 wasn't there, okay? The only marker was Holmes Road, okay? And the city, Cullen Boulevard, went all the way to downtown. But this was a dirt road when my father built this building. He had a septic tank in the back, and this was Chocolate Bayou. This area had its own municipality and was annexed in the city by 1956. So all the things you see here now weren't here. But there were businesses in the neighborhood. Black people had cleaners, we had our own stores, we had everything you could think of under the sun, our own plumbing companies. This was a vibrant area. What you see now today is somewhat desolate. And you that, stayed here in Sunnyside? Well, my dad did. I stayed here with him, okay, and learned the business from a little kid growing up. He was the first black to graduate from the University of Texas Orthodontic Program. You got to clean your teeth, make sure they're clean in the morning and at night so you don't get those white stains on your teeth. For African Americans, we have our schools, we have our churches. Outside of that, you don't have any major institutions so that you can count on. We don't have a Walmart. Take a minute. This is one of the things that we can brand as our own. People can always say, oh yeah, Poindexter, I know them, sure. You go on over there, don't have to worry about it either. He, he's pretty good. He's almost as good as his daddy. That's what they always <laughs> say. We are still here Thanks and we stand as an institution for the people of Sunnyside. You know, your dad started this, you yeah. followed in his footsteps, now your son is. Come My on. son is here. Blake right now in this article is being published here showing that he finished as a dental assistant. He's a registered dental assistant now. So we are proud that we are three generations into the same profession. For the practice is 68 years old. We're stuck in the middle of a financial tsunami. Everything's going to be coming this way to Sunnyside. Is Sunnyside going to be ready to accept it? Not going to have any choice. Beautiful smiles. <laughs> Still here, three generations. Yeah standing strong. And you know what? To make this day even yes, better, yes. Dr. Poindexter Jr., who started this all 68 right. years ago, today is his birthday. Happy birthday, yes. sir. From all of us That's at, right. at KPRC2. And thank you for letting us share your story. That was incredible. Thank you, Byron Nichols, our, our chief photojournalist.